I love maps in fantasy. Fantasy maps are a bit of their own cliche in a lot of ways, uh, at least their own trope. I remember when I was going to conventions trying to break in, everyone would call them uh, not just fantasy books, they would call them big fat fantasy books with maps. And they would even abbreviate that sometimes, which, you know, I tried not to take pejoratively because I think the maps in fantasy books are really cool. Not every book needs to have them. In fact, once in a while I release one that doesn't have a map. I love them. Part of the reason for me goes back to Tolkien. When I read um, The Hobbit, I loved seeing this map and then finding out that this map was an in-world artifact uh, for the Middle Earth. You weren't just seeing some artist's illustration of it. You were seeing the very thing they were carrying around and looking at and consulting. I loved that. 